You know, it was it was over 16 years ago that Elise and I walked to the doors uh, here at CBS, and we have worked in that same 10 by 10 room every day. Uh, and of course, she's now changed to different shifts and and, and things like that. But guys, I got to be very honest with all of you as well. I am in that state right now where I'm. I feel like I'm, I'm waiting to wake up from like a nightmare or something and find out that this was this was not true. I just I cannot grasp the reality and the finality right now. I just it, it's there's there's too much Lonnie and Elise history there. It goes back a long way. She affectionately called me Sun Silk, KJ. <laughs> she goes, I'd walk into the room. She'd say, Sun Silk, how you doing? Yeah. I'm like, okay, had something. To do. We'll get into that off air. Yeah, something about my hair color. <laughs> she was such an accomplished woman. You know, graduate of Georgetown. Proud Hoya. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. master's degree, meteorologist. You mm -hmm. know, seal. Uh, to, and fought, fought so hard for the health of her daughter. Um, it, there's no words. There are really no words. And um, at the same time, her conviction showed through what Elise thought and what Elise believed. Oh, unapologetically. <laughs> unapologetically. <laughs> Even if you you're know. sitting out here, she would yeah. take care. I, I mean, we. Jessica talked about her wicked wit, and she would, yeah. her knowledge of music, she liked to tease me yeah. about. Perhaps I was lacking a little. Dick Brennan, you really don't know anything about music, do you? I mean, she <laughs> right. always cut right to the chase. Yeah, I wrote it yesterday, last night, I wrote on a Facebook post that if she had decided, think about this, if she had decided to give stand up comedy a chance, oh, I think she would have, I think she would have killed it. <laughs> she is just, really? she is just so quick witted. And, and you don't, listen, you don't get to share all of that sometimes on air. Sometimes the best stuff is during the commercial break. Right. Yeah. But uh, oh, well, I go back with Elise even before our I time know. here at WCBS, and we worked the early morning shift together. And we got to a point in our relationship when we stopped apologizing when our stomach started to grumble, <laughs> you know, in those wee early morning hours. And just her sense of humor and her friendship is what yeah. I will treasure the most. And if we could just give this message to her family, if they are listening right now, to her parents <sighs> and to her sister, and also to our dear, dear colleague, Greg, Greg yeah. we are here for you, not just in this time of mourning, but we are here to celebrate what is in the future for this little girl that um, is surrounded by so much love today, your dear little Gracie. As much as you want us there, we will be there with you to celebrate those milestones as a family. And to dear Gracie, it's so hard for you to likely understand what is happening right now. But when you miss your mommy, when you are looking for your mommy you just look for all of the beautiful things that surround you you look for those butterflies you look for those birds you look for those rainbows and you pay attention to those little whispers of a breeze that will pass by your ear at time to time and yeah. that is your mommy because she has the strength to be with you every minute of the rest of your life beautiful yeah, we, uh... <laughs> You know, Elise and I had countless conversations years before Gracie was born about Gracie. It was her biggest dream to have Gracie. And Gracie, you know that your mom's love is just cursing through your veins, young lady. Um, She's still surrounded by love. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. She, boy, that Elise Finch is one of a kind. And we'll be right back.